Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, and for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show. Would appreciate not being interrupted, Aloy. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we're, uh, yeah, today we got part 46 of Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition. Hope you guys are all doing well. Your host, Dan Joe, here. And, um,. Yeah, in the last episode, we started and completed the Kappa Cauldron, which apparently was the final cauldron. I did get the trophy popped for that, but I don't think it was included in the footage. Uh, because, you know, when you're recording direct on PS5, it doesn't actually do that. Um, so there were indeed four in the base game. Chi, Iota, Mu, and Kappa. And yeah, the Apex Tide Ripper, definitely not a pushover of a monster. Or, I guess, technically not a monster, monster of a machine, I guess. But it was a tough fight, to be real. But thankfully, I mean, the frost definitely helped, but I was trying to, um... to slodge some of the materials. I wasn't sure which ones were considered materials. Oh, that's weird. Um, I had needed the Tide Ripper's tail fin for something before. Oh, that's cool. Um, so I did know that was a detachable material, but... There was a shell snapper out here before. I don't see it now. Apparently there was a supply chest out here. We'll always be down for more materials. I mean, if he is still around, I could just... Think there any salmon around here? Green shine. I don't think I need green shine. Unless it happens to be a green shine, um... Whatever the rarest one is? Was that a salmon? No, it's not a bass. I don't need more bass. Um, cluster, yeah. Now the one I need is like the, the rarest one. It's like a chunk, or I forget what they call it. Pretty sure it's not the cluster, but as a reminder, these videos are recorded in 4K 60 HDR, so if you guys want the optimal viewing experience, uh, definitely check those quality settings in the YouTube playback. If you are watching this on a standard SDR display, which is a little redundant because SDR does stand for Standard Dynamic Range, um, or a device that doesn't support HDR playback, just, uh... You know, know that the colors are not going to look correct. Um, optionally, if your display supports HDR tone mapping profiles, that actually might help fix it, but as a note, it is a workaround, so it's still not going to look correct, but it might look correct to you. Pelican, I do, whoa, need more meat, and I would rather not freeze it. I crafted a bunch of potions back there, which I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of that kind of stuff in my stash storage. Whatever. 
Same dealio. I keep gathering materials, but I have like so much stuff in my stash. Which is a nice part about this game that um, stuff gets sent to your stash automatically if you don't have room in your inventory. In Horizon, in Zero Dawn, um, you can't. It doesn't do that. Yeah, hundred health, large health potions. I say we got a few. Alright, so restock, take, oh, yeah, five, yeah. The maximum amount, please. Um, I know we got something... I don't think it was for a weapon. I don't think I use the cloud burst anymore. No, because it would show that it's an equipped weapon. And about six. Oh, is that the um Yeah, the Spectre Gauntlet. I don't think that can be improved. because I didn't like the perks, right? Uh, the Osorum Forester I can upgrade? I do use the appearance of this one a lot, but I don't... Oh, I needed a Tide Ripper Tailfin for that. Mm, yeah, I don't really like the perks on this one either. I like the look, but that's about it. Shadow. I used to use this a lot. <clears throat> Just not as good. My other ones. Oh yeah, so Bexermate. Um, I did mention Frostclaw sack webbing, right? I did mention this might be good once it's fully upgraded. The elemental defense sucks. I think there's no... For shock, it's okay, but for frost and purge water, it's negative, and acid and plasma is non-existent, so... And fire is, like, okay. For melee and impact, it sucks. So, I don't know if that would be worth it. Stamina plus. I mean, some of the perks are good. But I don't have many on that. I'm just gonna 
remove the job for that. Uh, Karja Stalker. Oh, I can't upgrade these. That looks good. And Marine is one of. Yeah, but I need Brimshine. That's oh, fully upgraded. Need salmon bone for that. Alright, yeah, I guess there's nothing I really want to upgrade. Um, let's go ahead and save. Fast travel. I guess that does it for the cauldrons and the tallnecks. Because now I have all the map info. And I got the trophy for the cauldron thing, so I definitely have that done. So I guess now the only thing is to go back to the base real quick. See what overrides I can make. Because I do want to craft all the overrides, because I'm sure that's an achievement as well. Free materials, I guess. Why did it create a job for? I guess I already created that one. Oh, I did need a shell snapper thing. Not active quest, but okay. So those are the only ones left. Okay. These might come up naturally, so... I'm not going to worry about that for now. But at least I know those are the final overrides, so... Um... That is to go that way, but I, that's the east exit. Which is kind of annoying, because this is the one that has a campfire. Which 
is faster because then you can just fast travel as soon as you leave for free. I guess it doesn't matter on a lot of these. And like I said, this is not going to be a 100% playthrough by any means because that would take for fucking ever. Um, but there's a ton of stuff I did not do in the DLC basically just played through the story like main quests and then called it um, which I felt kind of bad about because the DLC was super good but there was like other stuff um, that came up You know what, let's just do this real quick. This has kind of been bothering me for a while. Okay, so there's salmon up there. Is that like the only spot to get salmon? That is so weird. Eh, that I know of, I guess. Alright. Um, I guess go to Salt Bite. It's the closest spot. Why can't I fast travel there? Oh, because I was just nearby? I didn't actually go there yet? That's annoying. I mean, I'm probably just going to fly there anyway, so... I guess the closest spot I can fast travel to is this campfire? Damn, this is a fucking blizzard. It's definitely the heaviest snowstorm I've seen in the game. Um...
kitchen might trade for something good. So this is where Tilda tried to reel you in. What was her proposal? That together you could save the planet? Just as your precious genetic mother always wanted? I believe the old ones called that a bait and switch. Luring you with the promise of a vibrant new world. When in reality, it's doomed to be cracked open by nemesis and scoured of life. If you're trying to get a rise out of me about Tilda, it's not gonna work. And if you really believed we have no future, you wouldn't be here. And perhaps I'm just waiting to see if you can once again achieve the impossible. Speaking of which, my preparations for Nemesis have revealed a new problem. I've been searching the remains of the Zenith base for any data that could help us. In doing so, I discovered that 13 of our spacefaring friends descended to Earth from the Odyssey. But we only found 12 corpses total, including Verbena at the biotech lab. Your math is impressive as always, but yes, it appears that one got away. His name is Walter Landra. In the 21st century, he was an aerospace magnate, but also a bit of a celebrity. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that he's far too dangerous to be allowed to roam free. You need to find him and deal with him. You said Walter Landra was a bit of a celebrity. What does that mean? Although he made his money in aerospace, 
He put vast sums into the production of holographic entertainment. In fact, his wife was a famous actress. The two of them were often featured in tabloids and other media. Tabloids? A type of uh, news outlet that tracked the personal lives of celebrities, allowing legions of fans to live vicariously through the rich and famous. Oh. Yuck. So where do you think Laundra went? The coast, far to the south. An area wracked by tectonic shifts and volcanic activity. The few Tanakh who have ventured there refer to it as the Burning Shores. But a thousand years ago it was called Los Angeles. A hub for the technology and entertainment industries. Laundra's space mining company Heaven Sent was headquartered there. It stands to reason he would retreat to familiar territory. I'll send you the coordinates. So, are you ready to track down our rogue zenith? Okay, to the burning shores then. Proceed with caution, Eloy. I suspect Londra is even more devious and resourceful than the other zeniths. Oh, silence. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were actually concerned about my safety. I'm actually on my way to the Burning Shores. Oh, right. Uh, Gaia and I heard about your mission from Silence. Be safe, okay? We'll be here if you need us. We'll do. Thanks. This is it. Laundra's headquarters shouldn't be far. Okay, that can't be good. flying just now? Yeah, just, uh, not my best landing. Damn, more machines. Stay back. I'll handle this. Hold on. I can help, too. Let's see what you got. Not much point to using acid here. See those glowing crystals? It takes one hit to detonate. Yeah, okay, got it. I've got your back!
know how to hold your own. The name's Seika. Aloy. I could, uh, say the same about you. You have a focus. focus. So you're Quinn. You're not exactly like any diviner I've met. How do you even know that? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but first... Just one for now. I saw you before you crashed, flying on a sunwing. It didn't look like you knew about that tower, which means you're new. So what brought you here? I'm looking for someone. There's a ruin. On the hill northeast of here, that's where I was headed. Ruin on the hill? You mean Starlight Rise? You know it. Is there another way to get there? Maybe. But first, we're gonna have to do something about that tower. I think we can help each other, Aloy. The tower's not far from where my people made camp. I can show you the way. Uh, hold on. You said we can help each other, but what exactly are you doing here? Let's just say I need that tower dealt with too. Come on. This way. Follow me. We'll have to take my skiff to get to the settlement. What were you doing out here anyway? The skiff's rudder is a bit off. I've got some parts to fix it. And sometimes, we just need to hunt alone. I'll be in my stash when I need it. Random zone? Interesting looking ruin. Wonder what's inside.
Bridge will break my fall. A code to get inside. An ancient figurine. Looks like it was part of a set. And there's data here, too. I'll just hold on to it for now.
Here she is. I just need to attach this component I picked up. Hold tight. Never seen a boat like that before. Me and a gear head back at the settlement roped it together. Works well enough. That'll do it. Skiff's good to go. Hop in. Oh no. Not another one. Whoa. Like I said, there's no getting to Starlight Rise so long as that tower's there. Okay. Casting off. Huh. Sure beats rowing. I've had a lot of time to improve her design. How long have your people been here? Uh, about a year, I think. We hit this massive storm crossing the Great Ocean. Lost half the fleet and our bearings. It was a miracle we even made it to these shores. We've been stuck here ever since. I see. I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just how many of you are left? Not as many as there should be. We've had other troubles since the shipwreck. And some of those remaining aren't much help. Sounds like you're not thrilled to go back. Bringing back an outlander is certainly going to complicate things. It'll be fine. Just follow my lead and let me do the talking. If you say so. That's it on your left. Fleet's end. Uplifting name. We weren't in great spirits when we made landfall. Okay, here we go. Missed. No. You will remain here until the traitor returns. You! Here we go. Sorry. One act of treason breeds another, it seems. Stealing a diviner's focus, leading a barbarian into our midst. Where's the coin I know? Arrest them both. Remove their focuses at once. Arrest us? This is a matter for the Admiral. Not a compliance officer. <sighs> By all means. Admiral Garrett! It's as I told you, sir. The proof is now before your eyes. A soldier dared to don a diviner's focus. The eye that reveals the legacy. But Seika did not stop there. She brought a barbarian among us. In direct violation of confidentiality clause 3A. Protocol states that these- I might be our last chance at finding our missing people, sir. Diviner Vi's focus showed me his last moments. He found a clue. The ruin on Starlight Rise. There's evidence our people were there. Hunter's headquarters. Now we have no means of safe passage. Not in our current situation. But she might have another way. <sighs> Remember the law, sir. Focus is for a Diviner. No one else. Saker's actions are indeed concerning. And there will have to be a reckoning. But finding our lost crew is paramount. If Saker 
has a chance of bringing them back. Our course is clear. Even compliance must recognize that. I will allow it. Seika and the Outsider are free to pursue this lead. But, sir, if... Outlander, I'd like a word when you have a moment. Hmm. Damn them. You okay? I shouldn't have said that. It's just that... My sister is one of the missing. Not only that, she's our last navigator. Our only means of getting home. I've got to find her. Even if it means using a forbidden relic. Meanwhile, Rang and the others act like I'm the problem, when in reality, I'm the only one looking for a solution. Look, I, I understand. Maybe more than you know, but for now, I think we need to calm down I and just calm. You're right, of course. Getting upset isn't going to help. Okay. We both need to get to the place you call Starlight Rise. But that tower seems like it knocks anything nearby out of the sky. Out of the water, too. It fires at any watercraft in range. Oh, great. Well, it seems to me you've got some kind of plan in mind to deal with it. Maybe. Between the two of us, there might be a way. What exactly did you find on that Diviner's Focus? When the scout boat sent by the Admiral didn't return, he sent our very last one to find out what happened to them. Diviner Vi was on board. They made it as far as Starlight Rise, went inland and found a camp and a bunch of equipment. It looked like some of our people went into a ruin there. Then they spotted a machine, unlike anything we've seen. Silver and gold moved like a spider. Spooked, they ran back to their boat. They were lucky to escape. I've dealt with those things before. Well, their luck ran out fast. The morning they tried to sail back, the tower went up and blew them right out of the water. Vi's body washed ashore here sometime later. A friend of mine found it and let me know. The same friend that ratted me out to Rang for taking the focus. But what was I supposed to do? I would have done the same thing, trust me. So your sister is a navigator? More like the navigator. The only Quen who can steer by the stars without instruments. She reads the sky like a scroll. Knows every constellation by position, no matter how much it spins around up there, which means she's been an Imperial favorite ever since her first exam. One of the fleet's most precious assets. And now she's gone. She and the others just disappeared? After we made landfall, the hard way, the Admiral sent out scouting expeditions with the very few boats we had left. Not one of them returned. I don't know what happened to them all, but I do know it has something to do with that tower. And Starlight Rise. We're agreed on that. Well, you're a good fighter, that's for sure. But beyond that, I don't know much about you. There's not much to tell. Nothing special about me. Except my sister is pretty well known among my people. You don't seem so ordinary to me. I was just a petty officer until we ran aground. But we lost a lot of midshipmen and lieutenants to the storm and the wreck. And now even more of them are missing. So I've been trying to step up and help the Admiral. It took a lot of guts putting on that focus. 
Seems to me he needs more like you. Huh. <laughs> Tell that to Rang and his toadies. You think there's a way to do something about that tower? If we want to reach Starlight Rise, we have to try. I was able to approach the tower on foot, but I couldn't get close enough to shoot at it or anything like that. With the right help, though... Show me the way and we'll give it a shot. You'll probably want to resupply first. You can use my skiff if you need to hunt for resources. Just stay south of the settlement. The tower can't hit that side. I set up some buoys to mark its radius. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go clear my head. There's a bridge that leads to the ruins where the tower is mounted. I'll wait for you on the other side. Hold on. There's one more thing. The, the Quen here, all of this. You were part of a larger expedition, right? Headed for San Francisco? That's how you know about us. And you've seen the others, haven't you? And they're alive. Most of them, yeah. I can put you in touch with them, but we should find your missing people first, right? They're alive. This is great news. But yes, you're right, it should wait. If we tell everyone now, it'll just be a distraction. So for the sake of the missing, we have to keep the focus on them. All right then. I'll see you on the other side of the bridge. Might not be a bad idea to resupply before I meet Seika. Or I could explore a little with her skiff first. folks that is gonna do it for today we are out of time but thank you all for being here greatly appreciate it hope you enjoyed and of course before we get going a very special thank you going out to the current farts and crap show members which at the time of recording is Navalis draconis the one the only thank you so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly and if you guys want to be incredibly awesome like Navalis draconis and get in on all those membership benefits uh, check out the join button down below to your start three bucks a month. It's only 10 cents a day gets you into all the basic stuff including Getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the members choice polls It's a thing we do once a month where the channel members get to vote on a poll for um, What the next series is going to be um, all the current series were chosen by channel members and uh, Yeah, we had the one for December while back, the winner for that was Tears of the Kingdom, um, which started a while ago. And um, not sure what the January one is going to be yet. Um, at the time of recording, it looks like we're not going to need a new series for January. But that all depends on how much longer this series is going to take and Final Fantasy Tactics. But neither of these are probably going to be over anytime soon. So, January's Member's Choice poll is likely going to be stream-related um, for a new streaming series. Um, but, like I said, not really sure yet. Probably going to hold off until closer to the end of January to make a decision on that. Uh, because by that time, I'll have a better idea as to when we're going to need a new series. Um, at the beginning of the month, I was very sick for like a week, um, so I fell behind on recording um, episodes and such. So, um, yeah, still kind of catching up on that. But, uh, yeah, the new episode of this is going to be the day after tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a new episode of Tears of the Kingdom. So, till next time, everybody. Take care, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.